And hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Cyrus Webb Presents. Glad you all could be with us today. I'm Cyrus Webb. Whether you're tuning in live on IG or you're joining us through our YouTube channel, we're glad you all could be with us. Have two great guests who are going to be kicking off a special four-part series with us here at Cyrus Webb Presents. We're going to be welcoming some of the honorees of the Celebrate You community. There are a couple of our folks there. Dr. Clara, good to be able to see you. Uh, Dr. Petzer, I see you there. I'm going to go ahead and bring you in. Uh, glad you have Sammy Blundell joining us today as well. And Luana, hello to you. Good to be able to see you as well. Let me go ahead and see if I can bring uh, bring Sammy in here. I saw her come up there. There she is. I'm going to go ahead and send her an invite. Dr. Petzer, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for inviting me. Glad to have you, Sammy. Good to be able to see you as well. Again, everyone, we have uh, Dr. Tamara Petzer as well as Sammy Blundell joining us today from the Celebrate You community, kicking off a four-part series with us here on IG Live and YouTube for Cyrus Ware Presents. Glad to have the two of you on with us. As I mentioned, I got to know the two of you because of your work. I got you recognized as a Celebrate You honoree. We're going to get more into that. But Dr. Petzer, I want to start with you. I mean, you are an individual. I noticed when I was prepping for this. Uh, that is really all about being able to help impact the lives of others. So what has it been like for you to have that work celebrated? Amazing. The, as Celebrate You went on, I was the April Celebrate You Woman of the Year. And then, of course, I was honored to be in the top five of the 2021. Mm -hmm. And the more uh, everything was happening, the more excited I got. And I just think that being a woman in 2021 challenge, and it's really wonderful when people do stop and just recognize that each person makes a huge difference for everyone else. Right. right. Such a great point. Sammy, you're really good about that as well. I noticed while you were doing interviews yourself or being interviewed, uh, all about trying to spotlight others. But what was it like for you to have your work spotlight? Hi. Um, it's so, uh, such a pleasure to be here. I'm so excited. Yeah. And yeah, um, to be nominated for something so powerful, so special, it really was an honor. And um, just like uh, Tammy was featured on one of the, uh, the, the covers of the magazine earlier, uh, well, last year, and um, yeah, I, I suppose the most exciting thing is to to be recognized and to actually take that step back and to, to view yourself as other people see you, I guess, because when you're so in the flow of creating those ripples of impact, you're focused on the next best step, the next ripple, the next thing that you can do to support others. So right. for somebody to stop you in your tracks and say, well, hang on a minute, do you realize the brilliance that you just created there and what you've done? It's very humbling, very humbling. So I'm honored to have uh, been nominated for the award and to the caliber of the, the people to celebrate with as well. Just honored, grateful, and really, really, um, what a generous and beautiful gift that Luana and Barbara created for us. Yeah, we're gonna be speaking with, uh, with Barbara a little bit later. Luana is actually joining us live here on IG and she says, Sammy and Tammy are brilliant and amazing women. And I think that's what I love about what the Celebrate You community has really been able to do. So, Dr. Pats, I want to go back a bit, because even before, of course, being recognized by Celebrate You, you've been able to make your own impact using the power of the written word, using the power of your voice. So I guess an obvious question would be for our audience, when did you realize the gift that was inside of you? Is that for me, Cyrus? Yes. Right, oh. yes, for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, you know, I think that when... When I look back at my life, when I was a little girl, I one of the most big memories I have is I used to interview my mother on a cassette tape recorder. My mother was a writer, and even back then, you know, being nine or ten years old, I'd interview her and I'd pretend that she was this New York Times bestselling author, wow. and that always stuck with me. Over the years, I noticed, you know, I was very attracted to journalism. I wrote the Girl Scout News <laughs> for mm -hmm. the Corvallis Gazette Times. And, uh, and media just kept presenting itself. And I always wanted to be like a, a news anchor. And when I was young, 
when I um, first tried to be a news anchor, I was 17, just going to college, and it was in the 70s. And mm -hmm. back then, really, there were no women news anchors, and I didn't mm -hmm. know. I didn't know enough to, to know that I really wasn't supposed to have the big dreams that yeah. I had about being in media. But over time, I uh, actually educated myself in media, and I just kept growing because I knew that if I didn't keep growing, I would be left behind. And so now I mix the old school media, TV, radio, um, with new media, the social media, podcasting and everything. Right. And I just think that it was, that was, I am who I was born to be. And mm -hmm. I had a download once and it was, you're the messenger's messenger. And I think that's who I am. Yeah. What a powerful thing. What a great thing to be able to recognize. Sammy, a similar question for you. I mean, you're now having your work recognized, but when did you realize that you've been given something that was meant to be shared? Wow. What a great question. I, I think the, um, the day that I realized, you know, there's the day that you were born and the day you realized why you were born. I think yeah. that day that I realized why I was born was actually um, quite recently. You know, I mean, I've been in business. <laughs> I've built nine companies of my own. I've flown around the world, spoke on large stages, shared big audiences, been on TV. I've done all of those things. And, um, and it was all around building a brand. But it's almost like um, when you, you get a set idea and especially as an entrepreneur or business owner, when you focus on that idea and you just go for it. And I was like a steam train. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. It was like, I'm very driven. I come from a long line of inventors, creators, artists, musicians, engineers. And I feel like I kind of got a little bit of mixed bag of all of those things. So when I get an idea, I just go for it. And um and so I created five companies really quite quickly. But I think because I wasn't attached to the outcome, I was just having fun. And right. because I was having fun, I was in flow. And I was really guided by my intuition. And, and I've always followed my intuition. There are times when I haven't, and it's really bitten me. And so I learned the hard way. And so since 2002, I've been building businesses. I've been having fun. I've been partnering and creating. And, and my calling actually started back in 2002, but I only realized a few years ago that I hadn't been listening to it. That was one of the big intuitions that I hadn't listened to. And back in 2002, when I started my first business, I went to a business seminar to learn about tax and accounting. And for a creative, that's like, oh, I've got to do it, must do it. Yeah. And I remember walking into this um, seminar and I'm sat there and there's all these, you know, people really eager and excited and, you know, right at the very beginning of my business journey. And I built a, a career in branding and marketing up to that point. And um, I thought, Do you know what, it's time I, I did it for myself. And so I'm sat in this seminar and the, the guy comes onto the stage and as he walks onto the stage, there's this slide behind him. And it says a, a very famous quote, which says, individually, we are one drop. Together, we are the ocean. And I remember looking at that slide thinking, individually, we're one drop. So does that mean I'm a one drop? Are they a one drop? Is she a one drop? Is he a one drop? And I just started seeing everyone in the room as these like one drops. I was like, okay, yeah. so together we're the ocean. So does that mean if we work together, actually, we create something bigger? Well, I don't know. I, actually, I want to create something big. Anyway, I didn't hear anything that the guy said. And he must have thought <laughs> I was his best student because I wrote pages and pages in my, my journal. Um, but I actually walked away from that thinking, OK, the way to build a business is to create a ripple effect. How do you create yeah. a ripple effect? The fastest way. Together we're the ocean. Let's partner. And so all my first five businesses actually felt pretty easy because the first thing I did was, who do I know that knows how to do that? Um, if I don't know the how. I'm just going to switch those three letters to who. So if I don't know the how, someone will know the how. So who knows the how? And that's how I built those first five companies. The challenge was that I was so focused on that direction that I ended up burning out, massively burning out. And, um, and that didn't do me any favors. So I learned the hard way about building business, really. You know, it was fun, but I learned the hard way uh, how to build a business that actually you don't love and that you're doing it because you can not right. because you should. And, um, 
And so as a result of that, I then took a massive step back, thought, how can I do what I'm doing, but do it online? And over the last eight years, I've published over a thousand mini courses, masterclasses, products, books, resources. I built the world's largest brand building resource. I just went all out to support business owners and entrepreneurs. The Brand Builders Club was born. That went global. And then a couple of years ago, I, I really got this strong calling, one drop. Individually, we're one drop together. We're the ocean. And I thought, you know, I haven't been really following this the best way I could and so I started journaling around it and what I realized was I'd been teaching all these people how to build a brand and these people were going all out and doing exactly what I did burning themselves out building 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 they didn't even know what ripple effect they were born to create and that's when one drop movement was born just a couple of years ago and that's when I realized why I was born was because I'm here to support people to know what is the ripple of impact that you're actually born to to do and then you do the branding and then you get the marketing and the publicity. And I didn't realize I'd been missing such a big step. And I felt a little bit guilty that I'd been, I'd missed that step for all of my clients. And so now I've brought them all back into this movement and together we are creating the ocean. So um, it's very exciting, but I feel like I've, I've only been born a couple of years really into what I'm doing now because I'm yeah. even more in flow and I didn't realize that was even possible. So great yeah. question. Yeah, it was really, well, really interesting journey. And, and I think that's a great reminder for our audience too, uh, even about the process, right? I mean, in that it, it, it is a process. We're gonna get more into that. I wanna say for those who are just tuning in, you're watching Cyrus Web Presents either on IG Live or you're joining us on our YouTube channel. We're joined today by Dr. Tamara Patzer, as well as Sammy Blundell. We're talking with them. They are Celebrate You honorees, but also individuals who have been able to make an impact in their own lives and in the lives of others as well. If you guys are not following them and you guys are joining us live, you'll notice right here, there is a drop-down arrow here on IG. If you click that drop-down arrow, you'll see myself, you'll see Dr. Patzer, and you'll see Sammy. You can be able to follow them directly without even leaving us here live if you're joining us on the replay you have to go back and watch where they're tagged and be able to follow them there also if you guys are appreciate all the comments you guys are giving us repeating some of those and kind of referring to them dr clara says uh purpose is your passion and something uh, you love doing and it's so true so both of you mentioned something interesting hello to you justin glad to see you uh, uh dr patzer you mentioned your download that you got and sammy you mentioned intuition so dr patzer i want to ask you this I think all of us have had an idea. All of us have been, you know, recognizing what we were meant to do. I guess an obvious question for those who haven't started is, how do you go about doing it? Because a lot of times the idea is the easy part of it. Was it easy for you to get out of your own way, Dr. Patzer, and just start and not wait on things to be perfect? <laughs> well, I think I'm the queen of imperfect action because I do. I People will see because often when I get an idea, people who follow me know I post it and I see who responds. I ask them questions. So imperfect action is your friend. And if mm. you're somebody who thinks it has to be all ABC, all polished and beautiful and ready to go, you're going to stop yourself from probably the greatest gifts that you have to give to the world. Because what I found is sometimes my ideas are really good and, and that action works. Sometimes it's a big dud. Nobody is interested in right. what it is. But if you never try or allow yourself to let other people know what you're trying to create how are they going to know so i think it's important if you get an idea and when i say a download sometimes it's it it is just an inspired thought an idea mm -hmm. um some people i mean journaling is probably one of the best ways to really uh solidify your your ideas and your thoughts but i get inspirations in dreams i the the when i was told i was the messenger's messenger that was actually an audible and i can't say that that happens very often i mean you know i i don't make any big claims of being anything other than a human and i i do really feel i have a direct connect to the god of my understanding but that one 
time I got an audible that said, you're the messenger's messenger. Okay. So then it's like, what does that mean? And mm -hmm. that's where a lot of times we have stumbling blocks in trying to interpret these inspirations or these ideas, just like what Sammy said about the one drop. And I do that too. Sometimes I'll be listening to people and they'll say one or two words and I go, oh my God. And I write it down because it's like, oh, I might be able to do something with that or I never thought about it in that way. So right. I think that all of us need to be aware of that we are all connected, like like what Sammy said, one drop and we all make the ocean. And mm -hmm. that is how I think we are. We're all connected with in the universe. And so many of us, we think that we have to go through someone else for that connection. But the truth is we don't. We're we're all we're I call it a direct connect. And if we allow ourselves to be open and trust those those nudges, those intuitions. And I don't know, did Sammy call it a tap? <laughs> Somebody today called it a tap. I was on another interview, so I may be mixing things up. But I think that we all have um, intuition, direct connect, and take action as soon as possible. And, you know, that's your evidence. That's your test. Is, mm -hmm. is that when you take action, even if, you know, if nobody else gets it, you know, it, it may be the one thing that, that you are supposed to bring into the world. Right. Such a great point. Hello to you, Glenda. Good to be able to see you. Hello to you, Vic Styles. Good to see you as well. Have a comment from, I'm going to say TZL47. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it is. Uh, and she's talking about you, Tamara. She says, she's talking about how down to earth that you are and that she, she met you at uh, La Wanna Celebrate You event. Uh, and she was talking about, about how you were. You know, I think that's the thing. And I think that's why the two of you have made such an impact is because you are walking with not only purpose, but also with intent. Sammy, I want to ask you a similar question for our audience because the two of you, it's no doubt that you're doing what you are meant to do. So how, do you, how did you get to a place where you realize the important thing is to act and not wait on things to get perfect? Yeah, I, I love what um, uh, Tammy just said there. And um, I mean, I, I actually did a live about an hour ago on this very topic on Instagram. Um, wow. Because, you know, I hear so many, you know, we've got thousands of members around the world and I see them create, create, create. Like every month I run, the last week of every month I run um, a, a, a charity based initiative that is just literally three weeks of the month I'm focused on impactful income a week of every month I'm focused on giving and so that's a give back and everybody creates their products and we create programs and we take out their head and their heart what it is that they're served and called to do and then I see so many of them they get involved in the creation and they love the creation and then they're like oh sugar now I've got to be visible with this I know I'll just create something else and then they create something else and create something else and never push the button on doing what they're doing so here's a really great hashtag for you all to put in the comments right now perfection is poverty perfection is poverty it not only keeps you poor but it paralyzes you and it paralyzes your followers and people that are out there right now who they don't care whether you're wearing your makeup and whether you've got the perfect hair color and the perfect this and the perfect that if somebody that you know needs help and you can provide the support and the solution to that they can't wait for you to be perfect they need that yeah. imperfect action and um that i remember when I, I was going coming out the other side of burning out having built those first five businesses and thought well what is my next step and i remember thinking you know the biggest mistake when i think about all the mistakes i made and i made a lot of them out of all the mistakes i made the first thing was that i focused so much on the vision of my business 
that I forgot about the vision of my life. And so the, the, uh, there's three V's that I teach my students when they very start going through uh, one of my processes at the branding programs is the first V is vision. So just set an intention, be very clear about the vision that you want for your life. Otherwise you'll create a business that takes over your life and you won't have a life. You'll be living for your business and you won't be building a business to give you the life you want. So that's the first step really. So that's the one thing that I did and it didn't take me long to do that. I just went into a nice dream state and as Tammy was just saying there you know just really consciously waiting for the download connecting to it journaling it out you know there was a lot of things that went into my journal that I didn't take action on but there were some that I wrote them down I thought oh my god that's the thing that's the thing and so you know and it again it it's, you're not creating a life sentence here when you're writing in your journal it's not a life sentence it's like oh that would be pretty cool like what would be the the most fun thing i could do right now that makes an impact right. on others and fills me up so that you know my my um if you had a little measurometer it would be like through the roof so the first v is the vision the second v is values so what is it that's most important to you as you go out there and make this impactful income? So you're making an impact and receiving income from the impact you're making. What are the values that are most important to you as you do that? And one of the things that I hear a lot of my students say is freedom. I hear freedom as one of the highest values that a lot of people um, come up with. But what they don't realize is that freedom can also be an away from I want freedom because I don't want that again. I want freedom because, oh, I don't, I don't want that to happen. And so, you know, I would, I would invite you to, to really think about what is it you actually want? Not what you're moving away from, but what is it you really want to move towards? Otherwise, you'll always have that tiger chasing your butt and you'll, be, yeah. and you'll never get what you want. And the third V is your value. What wisdom have you already got without you going and learning anything else doing anything else getting another degree going and qualifying in something else what do you already have within you that would make a difference to someone else right now and it doesn't have to be like i say a life sentence it could just be that next right move and it just feels good to you to do that and apologies if you can hear a load of honking i live on a boat and we've got some nesting geese right next to us who really <laughs> want to join in the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I think they're working out their vision right now. <laughs> but that we, that's what I would say is like, you know, because I got clear on that and it only took me a few hours actually when I, yeah. I was like really intentional. I'm going to give myself a couple of hours. I'm not going to think too hard on this. I'm going to give myself a couple of hours and I'm going to know what my vision is, what my values are and what value it is that I'm bringing to the world. And then I'm just going to start serving. And I've literally gone through that process uh, went live that very afternoon and said hey i'm starting up a facebook group it's called one drop movement come over and join me i don't know what it's going to be yet but i know it's going to be good i'd love for you to come and take part let's get going and that was as much as i knew i didn't even know what the next step was i just knew the first best step create a group and invite people to it so as tammy said you know imperfect action is better than you sitting on even you know a, um it doesn't have to be a wildly incredible idea. It might just be one thing that somebody else needs in their life. You can build an incredible movement around that. So start making your ripples and making your waves just by showing up, just by showing up. You only want to make one ripple of impact. And remember all those little drops of rain when they hit the water, they're all making ripples. But what happens is when you get enough of those one drops, those ripples start to bind together and then they become one massive ripple. So just start making your ripples and the waves will create themselves. There you go. Uh, all, all about that intent. And, and I, I love that. And I love it. it's all about beginning. And I think for our audience out there, it's a great reminder for them. Again, everyone, a Dr. Tammy Petzer, as well as Sammy Blundell have been our guests, kicking off the first of a four-point series here of us here on IG Live and YouTube uh, with the Celebrate You honorees, talking with them not only, of course, about what it's like for their work to be celebrated, but also what it's been like for them to discover that they had something to be able to say and now to be able to impact the world with it. Uh, so, Sammy, we just heard there from you. Let our viewers know, how can they stay connected with you? Well, they can either uh, go to the One Drop Movement Global Facebook group and connect in there. We run lots of amazing things in there or uh, go to onedropmovement.com. Start connecting, start making that ripple of impact. Of course, I'm on Instagram as well. So come follow me and let's start making that ripple together.
All right. And on IG there, we will have both tag. Uh, Dr. Patzer, what about yourself? How can they stay connected with you? I would say um, Tamara Patzer on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, that's how they can find me. All right. Thanks to the two of you for, for being on with us. Really appreciate the time today and looking forward to having you back on the program again. Oh, thank you so much. Really loved it. Loved coming to you live from the UK, bringing a little bit of UK into the show. <laughs> I appreciate that. And thanks to, uh, to Lawana thank Bradford for helping us set up this chat today uh, for us here at Cyrus Web Presents. And thanks all of you all for watching. If you all did come in late, don't worry. You guys can be able to catch the replay on our IG channel or on our YouTube. You can just find it there, youtube.com slash Cyrus Web. Until next time, you all make it a great one. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you, Cyrus. Thank You're you. You're welcome.